location. They are found at the same place. This is what we call tissue. So a tissue is a group of specialized cells that perform the same function. Tissues, group of specialized cells. What are the characteristics of uh, cells in a tissue? These are the characteristics of specialized cells. They are similar in shape and structure. They are similar in size. They are similar in function. They have the same origin of production. And they are found in the same location. I'll be this clear. That's a tissue. Now let's look at tissues in animals. Tissues in mammals. We have different examples. Blood is a tissue made up of blood cells. Then we have lymph. It's also a tissue. Even bone is a tissue. Fine. Let's look at groups of tissues in animal. Even though I'm going to give you examples of tissues, I want to inform you that tissues in animal are grouped into four categories. Four groups of tissues in animals. We have connective tissue. We have epithelial tissue. Then we have connective tissue. Then we have nervous tissue. Then we have muscle tissue or muscular tissue. Muscular tissue. I hope we are okay. Under this, we have other tissues that are in this group of epithelial tissue. Now you have a group of tissues that are under connective. A group of tissues under nervous. A group of tissue under muscular tissue. Let's look at what epithelial tissue means. Epithelial tissue is the one that covers the surface of an organism or the cavity of an organ. Cavity of an organ. Or cover the surface. You know, the surface of our skin is epithelial tissue. So epithelial tissue is also found in a alimentary canal, digestive system. So, see this for reasons? The tank, covered by epithelial cells. Epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue. You can actually remove it. Remove the epithelial tissue. So the surface, the epithelial tissue, removing it. The epithelial tissue. So that's the part that gets burned, you know, when I take uh, too much hot food. Shall I continue? Uh, until the epithel epithelial tissue the tissue. How about the upper surface? The, 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 the upper jaw, epithelial tissue. So you can imagine, epithelial tissue is doing. What do you think are the functions of epithelial tissue? Protection. So they are there. The tissue is there to protect your tank. Look at... Uh, the respiratory structure. This is a trachea. Inside the trachea, 
patellar tissue. You also have trachea. So patellar tissue, protection, some produce secretions. So the mucus that produce in the nasal cavity is by patellar tissue. What about in the intestine? What about in the small intestine? They are for absorption. Because the lining, the villi, the surface of it are for absorption. So you see, epithelial tissue, surface of organism, our skin, epithelial tissue, to protect the lining of the cavity of the mouth cavity through to the oesophagus. So we have epithelial tissue lining, digestive system, epithelial tissue lining, respiratory tract, even blood vessels. Reproductive organs, excretory structures, such as the urethra. Inner lined by epithelial tissue. I've told you for protection. Some help in secretion. And some also help in uh, absorption of useful material into the body. Okay. Let's move on to another group of tissues. Connective tissue. Connective tissue is a tissue that basically provides support. Also bind two organs or two tissues together. Also help in transport. So connective tissue provides support. Bind two or more tissues or organs. Also for transport. That's connective tissue. So remember blood. It's a connective tissue. Because it transports oxygen from the lung to the tissue. It's connecting them. Transport. The bone. Bone. Is a femur of a rabbit. It's a connective tissue. Then cartilage. So this connective tissue provides support, isn't it? How about this one? Connective tissue is here. Pina. That is why it's having, it's being supported, it's supporting the ear to stand. The pina is for collection of sound wave into the ear so that the ear will not be like this, cannot perform its function. So, provides sheep support, provides support. That's cartilage. So you have cartilage here. Nature is wonderful. Cartilage is not as hard as bone. It's not as hard as bone. So that, you know, it cannot break easily. You can imagine if your ear were to be hard, as hard as bone, then you have ear fracture. You have a problem with your ear specialist, right? You have cartilage here too. Also provides support. So you can try it. Put your, your finger, your nose. You see cartilage here. It's also not bone. Why? It supports the nostril so that the whole ear will not be closed. You understand that? So that maybe when you are copying your nose or you are eating, you have to open your nostril so that air will enter. No, cartilage will do that for you. Provide support. That's cartilage. Then we have uh, more supportive structures. This tendon. Tendon joint. Tendon, tendon, joint muscle to the bone. So it's also connective tissue. Isn't it interesting? It's also connective tissue. Connective tissue. Then uh, we have cartilage. Again here, cartilage is found here in the trachea. Provides support so that the, the lumen is open all the time for you to have enough air 
You know what happened to the asthmatic patient? There's a problem with uh, the space with which air must pass through. You have cartilage to provide support. So example of tissue in animal. I've mentioned epithelial tissue, but for connective tissue, you can separate them into cartilage. I hope you are there. Bone, tendon, and even ligament. Two bones are joined together by ligament. Because uh, nature is wonderful. Bone. At a joint. There's a, maybe a tire bone. And the bone of the shin. They are connected together by what you call ligament. You do that in mega two. Ligament. So this is a ligament. This bone. This is another bone. That's ligament. I hope it is clear. But the muscle, skeletal muscle, is connected to a bone by tendon. This is for objective. The structure which connects the skeletal muscle to a bone is tendon. The structure we connect two bones together is ligament. I hope you are okay. So that's connective tissue. We machine blood. We also machine cartilage. We machine tendon. We also machine ligament. They are all connective tissues. Those we have machine, most of them provide support. Blood provides transport of material. Fine. Let's move on to another type of tissue, nervous tissue. Nervous tissue is for coordination. I thought it's very important. You have to coordinate. Coordinate. You have gone to the school canteen. You're not supposed to be there at that time. You bought food. With drink, you wash your hand, and you hear the voice of the headmaster. Yes, your ear has received the voice of the headmaster. The brain knows the voice of the headmaster. And your brain knows what the headmaster can do. And your fate in that school. Whether you have removed your footwear or not, you have to go without your footwear and leave the food. Maybe the bush that will save your life. That's you are coordinating. Your ear has heard it. Your brain knows what it will cost you. So your legs, you have to stand up and you have to start moving with your legs. You look back. You are coordinating. Let's stop and see if Emma has seen me. You are coordinating. That is a nervous tissue made up of nerve cells. Made up of a bundle of nerve cells or neurons. Then we have muscle tissue, muscular tissue or muscle. Muscle tissue is made up of uh, muscle cells, muscle fibers. But they are for movement. They contract and relax and bring about movement. We have three main groups of muscular tissue or muscles. We have the skeletal muscle, the one that is attached to the, the bone. That's the muscle tissue. Sorry. The muscle tissue is known as skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle. Then we have the one that is found only in the heart. The cardiac muscle. This one doesn't get tired. The skeletal muscle, maybe it's lazy, it gets tired easily. This is a cardiac muscle. Found only in the heart. And so what? That one is special. Even though all um, muscles, this one is special because it doesn't get tired easily. Ever since you were born, your heart has been pumping. It has never complained. The date complained that it is tired. Sorry. You can imagine what will happen to the whole school. 
you have to stop learning and teaching and uh, you know people have to pray and do all sort of things for you to come back to life so it doesn't get tired even though all are muscles then we have another group of muscles known as smooth muscle smooth muscles are found in a blood vessels and even digestive system you know esophagus I'll bring you esophagus when you come to organ system. Esophagus, the intestine, artery, and vein, they are all made up of even reproductive structures, the vagina, the urethra, even our great anus, the smooth muscle. Then, yes, our skin is here. Another example of connective tissue, please let's go back, is the adipose tissue. Adipose tissue connect the skin to the body. You understand me? So adipose tissue. Adipose tissue. Adipose tissue also hold intestine together. Adipose tissue, intestine. So one day we kill a goat and we see how the intestine are held in position. Adipose tissue. So connect so that you know your stomach is yeah. Will be walking and it will be ringing like a bell. No, adipose tissue will hold the organ, internal organs, in position. Support them. You remember, it's a connective tissue. Provide support. So that is great. So these are examples of tissue in mama. A tissue is a group of specialized cells performing the same function. Example. Blood. Example, bone. Example, cartilage. Example, tendon. Example, adipose tissue. Example, muscle. I hope you are okay. But now, don't forget that all this can be grouped under four main categories based on how you want to look at them. What if examiner asks you to name tissue in animal? Will you mention this? I suggest that you just mention epithelial tissue and don't mention connective tissue, mention bone or blood. Because for the purpose of this course, we are not into the detailed types of epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue is epithelial tissue. Because we want to consider our age in this class. When you climb up, then we expand epithelial tissues too. But for now, you can dwell in the expansion of connective tissue. I hope you are there. And the muscle, you have skeletal tissue. You have skeletal muscle. You have cardiac muscle. Then we have smooth muscle. I hope I'm done with the tissues. Thank you for watching Learner Biology. Thank you for watching Learner Biology. We are not done yet. This is just the beginning. Join us in the next lesson where we look at tissues in plants. Plants are here waiting for us. See you in the next class.